Okay, so I want to I want to talk about this is sort of the general basis of um, of uh, this kind of the psychopharmacology of drug addiction, and now I want to just go through a couple of examples um, for the rest of my time. So um, one is alcohol, and this is uh, wildly popular. It's been popular, as I said, since the beginning of time. Um, Alcohol comes from fermented fruit, so it's produced naturally. Anybody can make it. It doesn't cost anything. You just need to let the fruit sit around a while. Um, we, we now distill it so it gets even stronger, but it's, it's very popular. And about 8%, I, I said a small percentage. I guess it's small compared to 100, but about 12 or 13 uh, yeah, one out of eight, actually, this is a mistake. It's one out of eight people. It's about 12 or 13 percent of the adult population have a problem with alcohol. Um, okay, so it's in fact more problematic than all other abuse drugs combined. So it's um, more lethal than opiates and uh, kills more people than opiates or any other drug, except for uh, tobacco. Um, and it's increasing, especially in young people, although we did this when I was in college too, but um, binge drinking is as popular or more popular than ever. The um, binge drinking is having uh, four drinks if you're a woman or five drinks if you're a man in about two hours, and that um, brings your blood alcohol level up past the legal limit, and that is particularly um, prevalent among young people, and that um, habit or that uh, activity is really increasing the risk for um, alcohol use disorder and other addictions in those people. So um, one of the statistics about this is um, if you're, uh, if you, for every year before 21 that you start drinking alcohol, you increase your risk for having an alcohol use disorder by about 7%. So if you can wait to 21, you're not going to be in that um, one out of eight, much less likely. But if you start like I did at 13, then your risk goes up to about 50% at least. So part of the risk for developing an addiction is um, the age at which you begin using. And certainly that contributes a lot. In fact, 80% of people who have any substance use disorder begin using um, before they're 18. And I told my, my kids, I told my students this too, I don't know how well it works, but I say, if you can just hold off until you're 23 or 24, or maybe even 25, then you're, you probably, it's much more likely you'll be able to use kind of with impunity as a social user. But if you have to start early, um, it's not so great. Does someone you love suffer from drug addiction? Accidental drug overdoses are the number one cause of unnatural deaths. Don't wait until it's too late. Call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-648-6734. A caring addiction specialist is awaiting your call.